Okay, we're all set up here to uh, start doing the fiberglassing on the uh, top part of the center section. I'm trying to avoid the disaster I had with the field fly on the bottom, so I'm going to do this thing in a couple of stages uh, so it doesn't get out of control. First stage I'm going to do is I've laid fiberglass down in uh, the nacelle fellet area, on the wing fellet area, on all four sides. I'm going to do those first, and then we'll put peel fly over those, let that dry, pull it off, and then we'll do the flat parts uh, tomorrow. So uh, we can start out here. this in here and get the fillet radius covered. I want to see if I can use a peel ply around this fillet area to minimize any sanding because it's tough to get sanded down in this tight quarters here on these the cell fillets. So we'll see how it goes. First we'll get this all laid up in here. No sudden movements because these small pieces like this move around <laughs> real easy. Work it out. A lot of grunting and groaning going on around here. Okay. In there, Get this flat area, overlap area. This. You can't stroke it too much, you will pull it. Just like that. Get that good and saturated. Fly here. I see if we can keep it from the stuff doesn't bend around corners, so we can only use it in straight line areas. We got to uh, trim this rough edge off. that down there and get it to lay. Too bad this stuff can't be made to do more conforming like fiberglass does. Makes it tough to use on areas where you've got a lot of compound curves and that type of thing. Okay. 
Okay. Now getting to get to use this stuff in different situations. Just a little time, a little experimenting, as we've seen in the past. It doesn't always work out. I think. air bubbles out of there. Makes it tough to kind of try to work this stuff into the fillets because it's so stiff. We'll uh, work it in some smaller pieces here. Yeah, that works better. Ooh, I better leave a I'm gonna leave a piece to grab onto next time. I need to be able to pull that up. Looks like it's laying down here pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to use it in, in thinner strips. Too many compound curves. This stuff just doesn't like to conform. Okay, at least that's well, hopefully the secret. We'll find out tomorrow morning. Yeah, then when I lay this up, I'll lay up uh, strips of this. If you apply overlap it, you get a, you get a little ridge where it overlaps, but that you know that's nothing. That stands out two seconds. Okay, it looks like a winner. Let's make sure this thing stays down in these fillets. Why you'll have a lot of sanding on our hands. Ah, yeah. Push out that air bubble. This stuff doesn't bend at all. It's got no bi-directional weave of any type. Um, okay, that's laid up. So, uh, I'll go ahead and do the other four or three. And then... Uh, Tomorrow morning we'll pull it off here, see how well it works, and then uh, if everything works good, and then we'll start laying up the rest of this. Yep, out of air bubble. Okay, this has been curing up here for about uh, seven hours, so I think it's time we can try and rip it off and see if it worked all right. I'm sure. I did, I hope it did. Ah, yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, you get just the slightest little ridge between the pieces. Get these all peeled off of here, and then we'll get the rest of this thing uh, fiberglass. 